welcome to another section of uncle sam's math tutorial remember before you do anything to please subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me at uncle sam's math tutorial on facebook okay that's where i interact now in this section we'll be discussing how to divide what algebraic expression if you have noticed since the beginning of this section we've we'll been considering the basic arithmetic that is done under what uh, algebraic expression we consider the addition subtraction multiplication and now we are ending it with the division of algebraic expression so how do we do that we are going to dive in right away to divide algebraic expression we are going to be employing the long division method so the divisor will be outside 3x plus 4 then the dvc is going to be what inside which is 12x cubed minus what 2x squared minus 1, 3x plus 28. So what do we do? The answer that will be on top here is going to be called our quotient. Then what is remaining down here is going to be the what? Remainder. So let's go. Use this first expression and divide this. 3 divided 12 is going to give us what? 4. x divided x raised to the power 3. It just means subtract the powers. So this is power of 3. Power of 3 minus power of 1 here is going to give us what? x to the power of 2. Then use that and multiply these expressions. 4 times 3 is what? 12. x squared times x is going to give us x to the power 3. So we are done with the first part. Then use the same expression and multiply this. 4 times 4 is what? Plus 16. Then x squared, you put it beside it. So, what do we do next? Well, we want to remove this because these two are now the same. We want to remove them. And to remove them, you have to find either an addition sign or subtraction sign to place here. In this case, we're going to be putting a subtraction sign here. So that this will become what? Zero. Hmm? And here, if you solve for this, this is negative. Positive is going to give us what? Negative. So this is sitting as minus 2 minus what? 16. It's going to give us what? Minus 18x squared. Then you bring the rest of them down since there's nothing they're affecting here. Break them down. Minus 3x plus 28. You ain't done yet. So use this, use this again and divide this. 3 divides 18. 3 divides negative 18 squared. Sorry, negative 18 squared. It's going to give us what? Negative 6. Then x divide what? x squared. Use subtract the powers. 2 minus 1. Because this x here is to the power of 1. 2 minus 1 is what? 1. So it's same thing as what? x. So multiply it back. Minus 6x times 3x is going to give us what? Minus 18x squared. Then minus 6 times plus 4 is going to give us what? Negative what? 24. Then put your x. Then what sign am I going to put here so that we can be able to eliminate this? It is negative sign. Why is it negative sign? So that this will be what? Negative, uh -huh, negative, negative. So that this negative, negative will turn to what? Positive. So it's seen as negative and positive. Okay? So negative 18 plus positive 18. Of course, you know that it's already zero. Okay? Then this one is also negative 3x minus negative what? 224x. Negative, negative. Will also affect and change to what to positive 24x so this is same as 24x minus what 3x and that is going to give us what positive 24x then put bring down this plus sorry negative positive 21x because they subtracted to give us what 28 we are done yet so what are we going to do next we're still going to what divide 3x divides 21x. 3 divided 21 is going to give us what? 7. Then x divided x is gone. So we're just left with 7 here. So what are we going to do? We're going to multiply. 7 times 3x is going to give us what? 21x. Then 7 times 4 is going to give us what? 28. And let's what? Subtract. So, 21 gets x minus 21 x is going to give us 0. Then 28 plus 28 plus times plus is what? Minus. Okay? So, so it is plus 28 minus 28. That is going to give us what? 0. 0 plus 0 is same thing as what? 0. So, the 
answer that we get, the quotient that we get after dividing this and this is what? 4x squared minus 6x plus 7. I hope you understand this. If you don't understand, please come to the comment section and talk to me. I'll be waiting for you there. See you in the next video.